Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. Let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. See what message comes through. There's a Divine Masculine who's preparing to to see you again. This is a Divine Masculine who wants to look really good. I see here something about their appearance. It's like they're not, they feel like they want to surprise you with their their makeover, kind of like their new look. Um, I don't see Divine Feminine as like really um, interested in that sort of thing. But I see here that for Divine Masculine, it means a lot. It's like they want you to feel like... Like they're attractive or something like that. So they want to make a good impression after some time that has passed. It's like they want you to feel like like they kind of look the same when you two were once together, but a better version of themselves. So they really want to impress you. But I see Divine Feminine is like, they're more, Divine Feminine in this reading, you're more of like, you are more focused on the connection itself, the, the idea of being ready for a reunion than then divine masculine, you know, changing their hairstyle or, you know, um, building themselves, you know, some of them, they want to look m more masculine, like muscular, um, some cases, there's something about strength, like showing their outer strength, um, outer beauty. So whether it's, um, you know, it, it, it is like a, it's a beautiful, energy here so i see here that masculine energy beauty that this divine masculine is carrying they wanted to radiate on the external divine feminine is more focused on the connection itself so the connection of the reunion so i see here reunion so this um divine reunion so this is like the spiritual reunion coming into union divine masculine divine feminine energy union within self first union energetically and then then that reconnect like being ready to see each other coming back to divine masculine there's a lot of preparation here before they see you they want everything to be brand new they want to have the life that they always imagined to have with you so if this divine masculine the way that things played out between you and divine masculine the way how things ended with your relationship and the way your relationship was it's like that's not the life that they imagined for themselves or with the, with you they imagine a better version of how things play out they have this other kind of like um it's like the reality is not their reality so the rea reality of how your relationship was and how it ended for them they they try to erase that when they think about you they think about the reality in a different way they've created some kind of um illusion and they have they have convinced themselves that that is the reality but what they're doing is it's kind of it feels like wishful thinking like they wish that things have been better they wish that there was less like confusion or um less miscommunication um they wish that they understood better at that time when they were talking to you or understanding you better at the time um so when they think about your relationship in the past they imagine it as something that went really well and then they imagine it as something that is currently going well so they see the past and the present as something that is very beautiful and that's what they want so now when it comes to reconnecting with you, that's actually the reality, right? Because they know that you two are not in communication. They know that you two have not been talking or you two are, haven't been together in a long period of time. So now this divine masculine is trying to be a better version of themselves and they want the connection between you two to play out a, in a better version. So they want the better version of the reality. So they're creating a new reality between them and you. 
So they're doing that. It feels like visually they're imagining this and they want it to be in the reality, in the 3D. I do feel that this Divine Masculine is realistic, but the reason why they were doing that, like imagining a better version of how how your connection played out it was their way of coping with the loss of the connection that's what i'm getting from here it really hurt them this is a divine masculine who also was really affected by the separation between you two and the only way that they could cope with that sadness or loss or pain being separated from their counterpart was to imagine as if it played out perfectly well so this is it it feels like that helped them it's like a survival kind of mechanism. It's like a survival mode. It's like, let me imagine this alternate um, reality or this alternate, um, um, like how it played out like differently. Let me imagine it as if it played out differently. And this will help me cope with this, this sadness or this loss. It, it helped this divine masculine heal in some sort of way it kept this divine masculine to see the connection in a positive light so it it helped with the healing process of the separation there's something very sweet here very sweet um I'll mention to it, uh, I don't know what the the significance is, but it's very sweet here, so I'll mention it. I see that the Divine Masculine has conversation as if you're next to them. Like, they they imagine as if you are with them. So say if you are, if Divine Masculine's having lunch on their own, right? They're in a coffee shop or cafe, whatever. They're having like a cup of coffee, having breakfast. And they just imagine you're there. They're imagining this conversation with you, talking to you. And it's not just that. I see here they're imagining at you at work. They imagine um, you when they feel like love, like when they feel this love. And it's coming from you energetically, that love. They imagine having a conversation with you. They imagine uh, you having a conversation when, with you when they come home. I see you're returning home from work. They imagine you. They dream about you. Um, they even imagine you when somebody else is talking and they don't want to hear what they have to say. They want to blank out that conversation. Their mind drifts off. They think about you. Um, you help them through the tough times too. So anything that makes them feel uneasy about something, they think about you. So I see here, there's a very sweet connection where they constantly think about having this conversation with you as if like to share their day. It's like, oh, I had such a rough day today. Like this happened at work. This person said this. What do you think? You know, divine feminine, what should I do? And they imagine that you're responding. Or even if they, they're seeking for some sort of like advice, they imagine what you would say. What would Divine Feminine say? But they don't question what you would say. They would imagine a conversation as if you're giving the answer. This is another way that this Divine Masculine uses to heal themselves. I see a conversation between you two that this Divine Masculine has. Right? It's a one-way conversation. But they imagine you responding, but you're not together. I see here that you're not together. But they sense you are there. It's like you are by their side, but you are not there physically. Energetically, they feel you. Their heart feels you. Emotionally, they feel you. And they give, this gives them comfort. This makes them feel comfort. They feel nurtured thinking about you they feel nurtured in your energy it's like you have wrapped your arms with love around divine masculine and they feel comfortable enough to have this conversation with you even if you're not physically there there's this sweet energy about just wanting to talk to you and even if it's just the little things you know it's like i feel like eating you know um 
pizza today and then they they feel like you're saying something else it's like okay I'll go with what you're saying like we should have for dinner tonight like even like things like that and it's it's also connected to memories of you but then when they snap out of that moment there is a little sadness here that they are it's like when they snap out of that 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 emotional exchange or that loving exchange that imagine imagination that they have of having that conversation with you the reality kicks in and they are saddened by the reality they want this to be real so now they're taking the steps they can to improve themselves because they want to make a good impression so that they can return to you They feel like they've always been with you. It's like, let's make this real now. Let's let it, let these conversations be real this time. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye.